Hi, and welcome back to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel. We're here in Gresham at Metro East Community Media. And now we're going to be speaking with Easter Seals, the Oregon Latino Connection program at Easter Seals. And with me to talk about that is Demarise Clef, the Outreach Specialist. Thanks for Hi, being here. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm really glad you made it today. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've had some uh, interaction with uh, Easter Seals in the past. Um, mm -hmm. And then recently, Sheila Gibbons, who is, um, is at Easter Seals, came and brought a group of a group of uh, of our clients in yes. here, and they took a tour, and we, you know, we we started forming a little partnership. I think you know we were, I think that we're going to be working with Easter Seals a lot more with the Latino Connection program specifically, mm -hmm. um, because that is such a the Latino population is such a big part of our demographic here in East County. Right. What do you do as an outreach specialist at Latino Connection? Um, well, a lot of things, mostly really getting the word out of our program, who we are letting the public know that our program exists, that mm -hmm. our services are available, and that if they know anybody or them themselves need help of our program, that they can come, they can right. participate. <laughs> so, and being here is a good way to start. Yes. <laughs> so tell me, um, let me back up a little bit to Easter Seals itself, because obviously mm -hmm. it didn't start out with an Oregon Latino Connection program. Right. Um, can you tell me anything about the, the, just the history of Easter Seals and why it was started? Yeah. Um, well, Easter Seals is actually a program that's all over the country. Mm -hmm. um, each state have kind of their version of Easter Seals. Um, we're Easter Seals, Oregon. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but it's something that started in 1907. Wow. Uh, so it's, it's been a long time. Uh, our history is it was a man who, um, Edgar Allen, who had a son who uh, was sick and, and, and had died in an accident. Mm -hmm. um, and, but there weren't any services back then to help those people with disabilities or limitations. Oh, okay. So um, that really was the start of Easter Seals. And, and since then it's you know broadened across the country. Um, we have Easter Seals Oregon. And we have a lot of different um, programs within Easter Seals. We have uh, the Latino Connection, which mm -hmm. I'm here for. Mm -hmm. We have our CSEP program, which is our senior citizens program. And then we also have our veterans program. Okay. And are they uh, are this specifically still for people with disabilities, or has the um, definition of disabilities broadened? It definitely has broadened. Um, for Latino Connection, we do help those with uh, disabilities or any kind of limitations mm -hmm. um, that are physical, mental, or emotional. Okay. And we help them with the search of employment and or retention of employment. Mm, okay. So we're employment services. So when you say retention of service, does uh, an employer contact you or does an employee contact you for assistance? Uh, well, we start with the clients, which would be f future uh, employees of, mm -hmm. a, of mm -hmm. a place or already employees. Right. And we help them, for example, for the retention, if they um, maybe have something that is happening with them, some kind of disability that they need help with in order to continue their job mm -hmm. normally, okay. we help them somehow. Okay, so they um, they have problem navigating maybe a, an area in their workspace because of a wheelchair or they have, that, I mean, right. that kind of thing, uh -huh. or, you know, um, maybe it's a, a sight disability, maybe they need something changed around on their computer so they can see better, that kind of thing. Yes, you work with that? exactly. We okay. do do that as well. Okay. We work with the Department of Human Services mm -hmm. and we also work with the Department of um, Vocational Rehabilitation. Okay. So we partner with them in helping, helping the community. So if, if I were, um, if I were part of the Latino po Latino population and I was looking for a job and I um, had some sort of a limitation where I felt like you could help me, what would I do? Would I go to your website? Would I go to your location? Yeah. <laughs> What's the best way to, to get in touch with you? Well, we do have a we have a Gresham office. Mm -hmm. um, we also. Well, our main office, we have a lot of different offices, so we ask people that they call our office so that mm -hmm. they can know the right when ones. the orientations are okay. for each of our offices. We are in a lot of different counties, so there's specific orientations we invite them to come to so they learn about the program, learn about the process, and see if they qualify, if they would be able to participate. So um, I know you said um, job placement services. So mm -hmm. if somebody is uh, looking for a job, what kinds of things would you help them? I mean, do you just um, do you help them 
search for the job or are there are some, do you help them maybe with their resumes or how to interview those kind of things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually do a lot of those things. So when the client first comes, we definitely determine if they are eligible for the program and uh, if we can help them. Uh -huh. We go through the process of uh, eligibility and then we help them with determining what their work plan is. What is it that they really want to do? Mm -hmm. We want to find out. And with that, we help them with a counselor with the Office of Vocational Rehabilitation. And then we determine what the next steps are. And within those steps, it's uh, searching for jobs, applying for jobs, um, doing their resume, practicing interview questions, um, definitely preparing them through for, every for step. For the job. Right. After, uh, so is there a program that they actually go through or is it a, sort of a case-by-case -case basis? I mean, you, like you said, you have an orientation. Does, I mean, does there, mm -hmm. is there like a class that goes from one step to the other or how, how does that work? Well, we do uh, start with the orientation for mm -hmm. everybody. We want everybody to learn exactly what it is that the mm -hmm. program is we about. Do the same thing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we invite them to do that. And then uh, determining whether they're eligible or not, their work plan is case by case, so okay. some can do different things and some can do others, but mm -hmm. the thing that we ask all to do is take classes. So we have classes through our program, which are computer classes mm -hmm. and uh, ESL classes, okay. so that they can be more prepared and more ready for the future job that they might have. So do you have, um, are, are most of your clients um, people that are native Spanish speakers and or, or, or not, I mean, mm -hmm. is it? Well, so most of them are. You don't have to be completely Spanish speaking mm -hmm. to be in our program, as long as you have a Latino background, right, right. Um, you, would, you would qualify yeah. for our program. But I imagine, <laughs> you know, if that was your first language and you're here and English is the most commonly spoken language, that can be very difficult if, if, that's, if English yeah. is your second language, especially if you're not fluent at it. That can be tough searching for a job and interviewing for a job. Even understanding the questions that are being asked oh, of you. Oh yeah. <laughs> even even as an English speaker, that can be difficult. You know what I mean? It's it's mm -hmm. um, interviews are tough. They're they're scary. They are very scary. Uh, I even for my position for mm -hmm. this and <laughs> this job yeah. was was kind of daunting. But that's why we want to help people. Yeah. And even though we offer those kinds of oh, job readiness workshops mm -hmm. through our program, we also go um, around the community. And we offer these to the community so that they can know what it is we do and then invite them to the program. We do have actually uh, an event coming up at the Gresham Library oh, okay. um, for these job readiness workshops. And so tell me about that event. And when, do you know, do you have the information on when it is? Yes, um, it's going to be October 13th and 14th and also October 20th and 21st. Okay. And these will be um, Spanish-speaking workshops that we invite um, people to come to and any or anybody that they might know that would be interested. They are from 4 to 5.30 p.m. Okay. At, like I said, Gresham Library, and they're gonna be split up into four parts. Uh, first one would be re um, applications. So how do you do it? So this is all about job stuff. Yes, is, okay. all job, um, you know, online, things that are, sometimes difficult to figure out, oh, what do I put here? Right. Um, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so we kind of walk them through those kind of things. So resume yeah. and what are the other three parts? We have um, applications and the resumes. Oh, resumes. So how what they need to have in their resumes. Mm -hmm. We also do interviews, okay. um, mock interviews. We do interview questions so they can practice and know what they can right. say. And then learning American culture in the workplace. Ah. So what are their rights? Um, what things protect them in certain laws? Yeah. How not to be taken advantage of? Right, yeah. harassment, yeah. all of those things. Yeah, because that would be very, uh, it could be very, like you said, daunting and, yeah. and difficult. Um, so after you've placed somebody in a job, is there any follow through afterwards, or you know, do you do any follow up with your clients? Or? Yeah, we do uh, stay in touch with them. Definitely, we always are hand in hand with them. We call them. We make sure that they're doing okay. If they need anything else, they can call you. Is, in. Right. Okay, good. So we do have a after job placement um, follow ups that we do with them. What's the What's the hardest part of placing people in in jobs? What do you find is the biggest barrier? Uh, I think understanding sometimes is difficult with uh, people that have limitations. Um, like who, difficult for him, like the people that are doing the hiring, the hiring um, and uh, employee employees um, that 
oh, fellow employees that might not understand, yeah. employers, um, but these, um, our clients are ready to work, yeah. they want to work, right. and that's what we want to help them with. Good, so you have to get the word out, let people know that these, the, the, you have clients that are eligible to be hired, that are you know good people and, mm -hmm. and just uh, that you're available. So if there's a, a business out there that's looking for an employee, could they contact Easter Seals and say, I'm looking for this, do you have anybody that would meet those qualifications? Is that uh, something yeah, that they, could, they could call us um, and let us know what they, they're looking for. Um, if we have a client that fits within that um, their work plan mm -hmm. and, and they would be a good match, we'd be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, T tell me, um, can you give me an examples of anybody that you've that you've helped in, to do this. Somebody, tell me about somebody that's come in looking for help and, and what, how you work, walked them through the process. Yeah, um, we, have, um, we had a client who came in and uh, she was, you know, as all of our clients I think are a little bit nervous and mm -hmm. they're not sure what to expect, but we helped her with job search and taking her to you know, the interviews and the applications. You actually take them there? We do. That is a service. Great. <laughs> we, we take them and we, we're very serious about helping them through every step. And she was finally able to get a job um, at an industrial laundromat service um, company. Uh -huh. And we got word that she's very happy at her job. She's very content. She feels like it's something she can excel in. And that's what makes our job. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> well, you always want to do a good job, but when somebody you place somebody and they're happy and you know fulfilled and or challenged or what you know whatever they feel like they can excel at it, that's that's a big deal. Right. So what what do you need from the community? Is is Easter Seals um, funded through government or is it something that people make donations to 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 fund Easter Seals and the, and your clients? How does how does that work? Uh, we work through a grant, grant basis, okay. so we, we receive a grant where we work and, and plan our year out. Around that. So, what about volunteers? Do you ever have a need for volunteers? Yeah, we're sales? always looking for volunteers. Um, we have different offices, so mm -hmm. um, if our so, offices need more work than others, then we can work that out with potential volunteers yeah. that would be interested. Good. What kind of things would they do? Just maybe some like administrative work and that kind of, that kind of thing? Or? Um, it'd probably be um, maybe helping teach something specific oh, okay. that they might know. Um, there's a variety of things that we could talk to them about. So if they had a question, they could go to the website, check it out, maybe give you a call. And you yes, call definitely. Them. Okay. So um, you said there the uh, events that you have at the library are coming up and you have regularly have events out in the community, is that right? Yes, we do. Uh, since we are in a bunch of different communities mm -hmm. and, and counties, we have a lot of events coming up. Okay. Uh, so we are in job fairs, we are in health fairs, so people know who we are. We recently participated in the International Liter Literacy Day oh, okay. at the Midland Library. Yes. So we, we're very involved. We want to be more involved. If there's an event that anybody out there thinks that we would be able to help, oh. we'd be So if there's happy. an event where maybe they have different uh, nonprofits coming in and having giving out information, that yes. kind of thing? Yes, we'd be call. interested in participating. You know. Okay. So um, we're just about out of time. So if people can, you know, are interested in going to the event at the library, that would be great. And um, what, what's, what's the one thing that you'd like people to know about Easter Sales and the Latino Connection Program before I let you go? Oh, wow. That's a big question. <laughs> or what's, one of the, what's, what's one of the biggest misconceptions about about your clients? Um, the, uh, probably that they can't work or they um, have something that is letting them not work. And just maybe give them a chance. Yeah, so definitely giving them a chance and understanding that even though maybe English isn't their first language, they're trying. And yeah. if you could see them in the classes and if you could see them how they're really dedicated. I'd say if they were there in the first place, they want to work. Right. And that's, and that's uh, that's important to them. And that's so. who you want as yeah. an employee. Yeah. I have, I have a gentleman coming here from Easter Sales just volunteering to get some experience, and I can't wait. Yeah, to and come. he's excited. Yeah. I know yeah, he's, he's excited. He's a great guy, so I'm looking forward to that. Right. Yeah. Thanks so much, Dan Marisa. Thank I really you. appreciate Thank you, you being here. Thank you for your here. time. I hope you learned something about Easter Seals and their Latino Connection program that you, you may not have even known they existed, so now you do. And if you know somebody that might benefit from it, or if you yourself could, go ahead and check them out on their website. And don't go away. We have one more segment left of Community Hotline.